What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to my channel man. Yo, you know in the past week I've been ordering a lot of basketball because it's a holiday season. The ball is cheap. So might as well take the advantage of you know the price low and buy it because sooner or later I had to buy it anyway, right? So might as well buy it. Alright, so yesterday the package arrived, one of the package arrived all the way from Malaysia and you already know what it is man it's a molten BG5000 and also the BG4500 alright the composite one um, but anyway let's get right into it right let's go yeah yeah bring the ball box actually the box uh, I already kind of cut it up a little bit already just to double check make sure everything's in there uh, before I make this video but anyway it come in the box like this man nicely wrapped make sure it's secure and uh, so to save costs the guy actually put two balls in here instead of shipped it separately he put two ball in there so let's see how he packed it all right so got the styrofoam here and let's see what's in there bam boy look at this one I don't know what basketball is this is and we got another one right in come on man oh I ripped it but, all right, let's throw this thing out. Look at this. Whew. Oh wait, let me see. Make sure this that thing out. Not this bag. I don't know what it is. It say molten in there. I don't know. If you guys can see it. Molten. All right. But anyway, uh, it's flat. Ball is flat and this one is completely flat. All right, this one is a BG5000, and this one is BG4500. All right, let's open this up. I got label here, you know, so it seems legit. Should be legit, right? Get it this from uh, eBay. Alright. Mm -mm -mm. Whoa. It's feel I don't know, it's feel weird. It's not I feel like it's not that grippy. Maybe I need to put some air into it first. This one is I think they laser or they they uh, branch it or burn it so it you know they say to make it feel like uh it's actual leather that's why they 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 did it this way instead of just uh print it on like uh the older model and it say fiba here fiba approved and on the bottom it say valid uh through 2023 all right uh, let's put this aside and open this one up Got rubber band here. Let's put it away. Um, got a little needle here. I think this needle is supposed to come in this uh, bag, right? So like that. But they just put it in the ball. They supposed to give me two needles because I bought two balls, but they only got they gave me one. Got rip off, man. Got a regular uh, bag. 
and this one is feel different from uh, the other one um, let let me pump this up man so got my pump here uh, I, think I see it see make sure you moisten put some spit on it and let's go God damn God, this shit is a workout man I don't think this pump gonna do it it's gonna take forever let me switch the pump my arm hurt got bicycle pump here let's pump this shit up I speed it up for you, okay? All right. Um, is it good? Yeah, it's good. It's still good. Right? Yes. Yeah, easy. Uh, this one is really hard. Oh, it's not. It's not falling out. It's not falling out. Okay. Thing broke. All right, guys. Let me find a. Let me find a thingy to pull this out because it's it's broke. All right, I'll be back. All right, I'm back. Let's pull this thing out, man. Broke on me. Bam! You see it? Put away. Let's go. Get some air into it. All right, let's start with this ball. All right, let's give some detail. This ball doesn't feel like uh, the old model, uh, the GL7X. Uh, it's actually feel a little bit more slippery, uh, maybe because of the brand new. Uh, again, most most of the uh, brand new basketball, I think they put some kind of chemical, or some kind of condition, uh, leather conditioner to uh, make this ball feel like brand new smell like brand new too all right um the detail on this let's see uh uh molten uh it's branch in right it's not printed it uh hot iron like put that all right not printed and then FIBA approved while it through 2023 so they will use this ball until 2023 at uh, FIBA basketball, right? uh, European, Asian, uh, I think Filipino league, uh, PBA, Filipino Basketball Association, whatever they play with this ball. I think they was like the first league to use this ball. And uh, right now, I think the SEA game, uh, Southeast Asian uh, game um, they use this ball to play during the basketball game so I think the basketball uh, start today right they have all type of sport like soccer badminton whatever but basketball start today I think they're using this ball this uh, particular ball at CGM all right and then over here it's um, it's BG 5000 FIBA official game ball premium leather uh, size 7 all print uh, all uh, branch it in um, right here is B7 G5000 uh, inflated between uh, 6 to 8 PSI all right and then made in Thailand they got serious number here the serial number on this ball is uh, 5 digit all right mine is 5 digit I don't know if all the people um, uh, basketball is have more digit on this one but mine have five but 
anyway um, this ball it's doesn't feel like the old one the old model because it's the way they design is to make it feel like it's actual leather all right instead of those um, typical leather basketball like the NBA official game ball the BG7X you know they they have very similar design right a typical pebble and stuff like that but this one is yeah but right now I feel a little bit slippery I can't even palm them right? it's too slippery all right this one is you can tell the difference like closed up uh, I actually feel like this one a little bit smaller too um, can palm this a little bit kind of but yeah anyway um, this one instead of um, uh, branch it in or you know laser in they they print it on right just like the old model of um, the GL7X and then it's BG4500 all right so it's this model this is the top of the line one and then this one this one come right after after this one um, FIBA approved well also volunteer 2023 uh, they say competition here all right premium composite not premium leather premium composite size 7 um, over here is B7G 4500 uh, made in China I mean uh, Thailand sorry made in Thailand it's a little bit hard to read because it's because this design is still like swiggly whatever the serial number look funny it's just say one two three four five six seven eight nine ND uh, is it fake I don't know it seems legit my overseas people let me know man uh, but yeah this two ball feel different this ball feel a little bit bigger the the real leather basketball feel a little bit bigger this one feel a little bit smaller oh uh, forgot to mention this ball I believe it's uh, first used in the PBA the Filipino Basketball Association whatever um, it released in March right uh, so you can buy this ball in March 2019 um, but most mostly uh, in I think in Japan in Australia and Philippines uh, Malaysia you can get this ball in March but for the US uh, I've been I've been trying to get this ball in the US I even contact the Mol uh, Molten USA they say they don't even have it so I have to order this ball on eBay you know this regular version not not the special uh, Chinese uh, edition and I pay around a hundred and ten plus shipping uh, but I think right now I, I check it again it's went back up to like a hundred and thirty something like that on eBay but yeah man uh, more detail on this ball I'm going to uh, tell you all the specs uh, technology all that good stuff on this ball uh, when I do the performance review uh, later so come back and check uh, my channel all right so I think that's it uh, thank you guys for watching uh, subscribe if you want to like if you want to you don't like it whatever but you kind of have to subscribe to, to see more video right um, but yeah man just give me some love you know like I spend all this money on these basketball I think I have like 15 or 20 basketball now I don't need that many ball guys I, I bought all this ball just to do a, a review so you guys can have a better idea um, what ball uh, you guys should buy or is it worth it to buy because you know this ball ain't cheap you know on average most of the ball is like 50 to 60 bucks right the leather basketball on average like 125 dollars right 
and I got like, I, I don't know, maybe 16, 17 basketball. So, you know, add up, it's, it costs money and it takes a lot of time for me to go to the gym and uh, do a review on this. And then when, when, when I do a review, let me tell you guys this though, when I do a review, it's not, it's not just me, right? I let all the people play. Right, I let all the people play with this ball, all type of players. The gym that I go to, in the summertime, they have the professional, the, the overseas professional basketball player come to my gym practice during the off season. And, um, and then we, we have a lot of high school players, right? Good high school players, they don't pass the ball, they just shoot all the time. So, and then also some... Uh, ex college player like they used to play for college so you know I, I let those guys test this ball uh, to make sure that I get the feedback from all kind of perspective all kind of skill level you know, not, I'm just an average player I never play ball for high school for league you know, I, I just love playing basketball, but, you know, I've been playing for over 20 years already. Uh, but, you know, my thing is make sure I get the, uh, you know, the feedback from all type of player, right? Uh, I haven't played with any, uh, what do you call it, NBA player yet, but hopefully I ran into them one day and let them test out all this ball. And, uh, but yeah, man. So... I think that's it. Catch you guys later. Peace. Yeah.